What is up my clan? Welcome back to another vlog. It's the weekend, which means it's action packed. We have we did so much this weekend, uh, as you'll see, and I hope you enjoy it. Thumbs up if you did. Still no updates on comments. I do have a ticket in with YouTube though, so we are actually working with YouTube and trying to figure out if we can get comments back on, and if I can, what I need to do to make it happen. So, more on that as it develops. Enjoy. Good morning guys, welcome to Saturday. We are up and out of the house, heading to Mama's Organic Farmer's Market here in Peoria, uh, over at Park West. Good times, we've been here, what, two years ago? Oh no, it was last year, we were here last year, because I IRL'd it, IRL'd it. IRL, we're gonna need to do an IRL stream here as well. We're gonna be doing more and more of these every time we go to Farmer's Market, do a little streamy stream over on Twitch. Kids are playing some iOS games. Bryce is missing the Fortnite event. Yeah. To spend time with his family. So much he loves us. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Santa. Oh, yeah. It's like a toss in between like an apple. Try right there. It's like a fruit? Yeah, try it. It's a good one. Try it. Oh, you're your mango. Yeah, kind of like a mango, huh? Like the way it's sliced. Alright, so this is a persimmon. I don't think I've ever had one before. I've never heard of a persimmon. Yeah. Does it taste like so it's a fruit. Definitely a fruit. You know, it looks Sweet. like Yeah, it reminds me of um like a summer fruit, like a um like a plum, a nectarine. Okay. The outside's crispy, like the the uh, That's what I'm trying to describe to you guys. <laughs> Okay, this is the Arizona Reaper, made from the California, Carolina. Gosh, why can't I talk? Oh. <laughs> Do you need another chip? Water? <laughs> That's got some kick to it. Yeah! <laughs> There's a trash can behind you. Oh my gosh! Can it's I good though, it's got good flavor. Can I try to get it? Look at this. It's a fancy lemonade, slushy lemonade. Gummy bears. bears. My favorite. Gummy bears are all yours. Dad went with the nachos. Well. Sharon. I want tamales, but they're out. They're out of the green. Yeah, the green chili. All they have was red beef pork. They're on red beef or pork. And I wanted green chili something. <laughs> They're out of the vegan, they're out of the chicken green chili, they're out of the they're green chili. Obviously more popular. Yeah. Ground soup food? I don't mind. <laughs> what is this called, Bryce? Oh, it's a big fork. It's a poutine. Yeah, yeah. Big old chunks of cheese on it. It's got fries, curds. gravy, and cheese curds. <laughs> you got this, Bryce. <laughs> And dad just sitting there watching. Oh, I'm waiting to see what you're gonna do. <laughs> there you go. It's bigger than you, Bryce. You think? <laughs> He's not letting me out. Oh, you're, too, you're gonna hurt your back, buddy. Yeah, I'm not old. My back don't hurt. I still hurt it. Can you put an end inside of it? You need to. Push it. Ignore the words, mate. No, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a new gaming chair. Yeah. Can you get for him? A giraffe? Well, I don't know. There's a, uh, whatever that is, a ram. And a giraffe. Wait, that one's, is that a deer next to it? It's like a. Where? The oh. back's different. Those are cute, though. The little kids' room. This is like a bunny. This is like a ram. That's like a sheep. Like a big sheep. Like Oh, what is that? What is that, baby? Baby, you like it? <laughs> uh oh. Sister, get it. Sister, get my toy. You can get it. You can squeeze in there. No, it's kid. I'm too scared. Boom! Yeah. Boom! Get your toy. Right there. Okay. Now go. Okay. <laughs> and it starts. Our first present to wrap. So our community is doing a light parade. 
Everyone's driving, driving side by sides and razors, and here they come right as we're walking up. Christmas tree. Nice. Oh, I threw a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those lights, man. That cool. Snow coming out. <laughs> Mr. Grinch, it's Grinch. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, that was cool, guys. That was all side by sides, razors. There was like one Jeep, I think there was like two Jeeps. Two Jeeps. There was a couple golf carts. There was a truck that was a big trailer behind it. There was a little like Fiat. It had lights all wrapped around it because it was like a tiny little car. It was cool. I was telling Tiffany, might be time to get a side-by-side. -side. I, know, I know a lot of you guys have been telling us we need, we should get one. And uh, honestly, at this point, since I don't really have anybody to ride dirt bikes with, maybe it's time to sell the dirt bike and get a Razor. Or maybe I'll just keep my dirt bike and buy a Razor as well. I don't know. But more on that later. I want to show you guys what I got at the farmer's market today um, because I got some good stuff. I kind of joked, I said, I love farmer's markets but my wallet hates it because I end up always buying a ton of stuff just because there's so much good stuff. But here's what I got this time. Got some new jerky that I tried. It's made locally here in Glendale. It's really good stuff. There's a hatch green chili, hatch red chili, and a lemon zest, which is super good. So I got three of those. Uh, I've had these, these guys pickles before, but they were all out of pickles by the time we got by them. All we had left was celery. So he gave me a really good deal on celery. So I ended up getting a, like four of these for like, I don't know, 20 bucks. And they're normally like eight bucks, I think, normally. I don't know. Picked up a bottle of Big Reds. This is the original, so it's more on the mild side. This is for Tiffany, because I always buy the spicy ones, so I felt bad. So picked up a bottle of just a good old regular. These are awesome. I've had these before, I've just never bought them before. This is a Boulder's Beef Crisps. They're basically beef jerky, but thinner and crispier, so almost like a chip, but have all the flavor of beef jerky. And this is the jalapeno one, it's super good, super good. And these kind of took me by surprise. I don't normally buy salsa because I always buy Los Muertos, but uh, this lady had uh, basically like, they call it taco sauce, but it's like if you go to a restaurant and get hot sauce. So this was the, uh, this was the medium, and it just had more flavor than the hot in my opinion. And then the tomatillo one, which you mix with tomatillos. And uh, she gave me one of these bottles to mix it in. So you just mix, you mix in the packet with a can of tomato sauce and then a can of water and you just shake it up and you got restaurant style hot sauce. I swear it tastes just like restaurant hot sauce. It's so good. So, yep, that's my wares this weekend. All right, there's dinner. Tiffany made uh, French dip sandwiches. So tell us what you did. Uh, I got a roast, beef roast, put it in the crock pot for, yeah, I don't know, five hours. And it's got Guinness beer. <laughs> that's what I smell, I smell the beer. Um, some other stuff. So it Spices cooked, and seasonings. Yeah, cooked in the crock pots, and then yeah, I sliced it. Yep. And then just put it in the oven with some cheese. Yeah, you guys, it smells amazing. A little bit of ajou there. And Sierra has the Santa Claus movie on. Watching the first one. And there's our rug. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's nice and soft. I like it. Good morning guys, it's Sunday and we're in the kitchen. Tiffany's got breakfast casserole in the oven and we've been working on 
beans for dinner. This is the same bean recipe that she made about a month ago that I absolutely loved. I told her it was like one of the best things she's made. Save it, pin it, remake it. So we're actually doubling the recipe this time, which is always weird when you double recipes because it's never always the same, right? There's, there's certain calculations there when someone makes a recipe and then we try to double it. It doesn't always work out the same way, but we're gonna try to double it. So we've got onions, garlic, jalapenos, beans, cumin. Yeah, don't open it anymore after this. Right. It's only for you guys. Some green onions to top it off the end there. Oh yeah. A new breakfast casserole. A new one. Excited for it. It's a new one. Yes. Okay. New, I'm assuming Mexican style breakfast casserole. Mm -hmm. Got some uh, tortilla strips and green onions on top there. Looking good. Fresh avocado. <laughs> and, and a package being delivered on a Sunday. I love it. We are back in the kitchen and yet another baking day. But this time it's for your friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people she goes to school with and friends. So we figured bake today and she can give them out tomorrow because if she waited later in the week, she's got midterms and she won't see everybody because she has short days, half days, and she only goes to a couple classes each day. So we figured bake today and then she'll just hand them out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I got everything ready for, oh, that, that's our dinner. <laughs> we have one type of cookie here, another type over there. We're gonna make the Chex Mix Muddy Buddy, but with some sprinkles to make it Christmas Christmassy. And then we have these cute little boxes to put the cookies in. Bryce has joined us. And what's your idea, buddy? So on TikTok, I see um, videos all the time, not all the time, but where uh, like you can put in like a raw egg, not like boiled or anything, in their dog's mouth, and the dog knows it's fragile, so they don't crack it. So but you want to test it out? People, the dog cracks it. I watched okay. this one where the dog had it, dropped it, and then smashed it with his hand. So we're gonna do this outside. Yeah, we're gonna do it. And if she makes a mess, you're gonna clean it up, right? What's well, outside? No, <laughs> you need to clean it up still. I'll like hose it or something. Okay, it's very gentle. Sit. Nope. Baby, sit. <laughs> sit, sit, sit. She's gonna bring it over to my rug and crack sit. it on my rug. I already sit, see it sit, happening. Sit. Now be nice. <gasps> oh, baby! thought of giving their dog an egg and see what they do with it. She's like, now what guys? What am I supposed to do with this thing? Baby, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go get her treats, but don't let her inside. I was in a crack. <laughs> she just spit it out. <laughs> I did it all day. Okay, this one you know that you can eat, right? She's like, I know what to do with that thing. <laughs> First batch is done. Time to fill them. Fine. Good? Yeah. Done? <laughs> Turned out cute. Dinner is amazing. The beans turned out perfect. Little hot sauce on top and it's like the best. So good. Well, there you go, guys. Another vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed editing it. Um, it this vlog really reminds me uh, why I do what I do. Uh, not only is it because I enjoy sharing my thoughts, my opinions, my experiences with you guys, and try to have a conversation, right? Try to relate to people. Because um, I, think, I think as humans, we are best when we're with each other, and we talk to each other, and we you know, learn from each other. And that's one of the reasons why I do what I do with all my content creation I do. It's about the conversations and, and the shared experiences. But also, it's the memories. Um, I've been doing this a long time, and so I have a lot of my life, a lot of my kids' life, all my kids' life, really, documented online. And so um, I actually just went back and watched five years ago, this week, is when I quit my job and went full-time content creation. Five-year, full-time YouTuber, full-time, you know, 
influencer, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that was five years ago, this last week. And so I watched that video, my last day at work, and to see the kids at that age and, and, and their mannerisms and their little little faces, it just, I love it. I really do. I'm very fortunate to um, have their whole lives documented, and, you know, on YouTube, but also just, you know, here, here locally as well. Um, so that's why I'm not going to stop vlogging. You know, even though YouTube is in a weird place and they, they keep making changes and, and, you know, the channel's not where it used to be. And, and I know the vlogs aren't as entertaining as they used to be. A lot of you guys are like, oh, I'm going back and watching your old vlogs. And I, I, I just binge watched, you know, four years ago and watched like 10 of your videos from four years ago. Like, I know they're not as entertaining as they used to be, but that's life, right? We, like, we change, we get older, you know. I'm definitely not as good looking as I used to be. But no, in all seriousness though, um, you know, life changes and, and I'm just going to keep documenting my life. I'm going to keep vlogging and showing you guys what we do, sharing it with you guys, and hopefully we get comments back on someday and you guys will be able to, will be able to interact in the comment section. But until then, uh, Twitter at Clintus, Instagram at Clintus, discord.gg slash Clintus. Um, you can come in there, you can hang out with us. That's where the community lives. And um, you know, I'm in there all the time, so we can hang out and chat in there. But anyways, thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Vlog on.